hello everybody welcome back to our channel on today's video i'll be showing you guys how i make my eru eru is one of um, the many cameroonian traditional dishes that we have nigerians eat this same meal but they call the as i think okaze okaze leaf that's how they call the eru and they cook it differently from the way we cook ours in cameroon so i'll take you guys through the ingredients that you need for this recipe so you need for the spinach this is a quick tip what i do i don't get the frozen spinach i get the bunch spinach so if you can get this spinach the bunch one if you can get the bunch of spinach that is a plus the reason why i get this spinach is because i want the stem just like water leaf that we use back home so in here i have some spinach that i just chopped up and washed and as you can see you want to make sure that the water drains from the spinach and yeah i have my aero this is dried aero i left in um i left the dried aero in water for about two hours then i have my pepper here habanero pepper very hot i have my crayfish and then i have this other um it's like crayfish but i don't know the name it's written on it oporo i guess it's another form of um crayfish but um i use this it gives it a very good flavor i'm going to open it so that you guys can see so that's how it looks so it actually looks like njanga but it's bigger so i have it mixed inside my njanga and then i have my palm oil um the best brand in the u.s that i've used so far is the carotino reason being that it doesn't stick after you cook your eru it stays you can leave your pot of eru and it's going to stay the same with the oil still looking liquidy from morning to evening so in here that is my pot i have i already built um i already boiled my beef i'm using um fish that is dry fish um bonga not bonga strong kanda like we call it in cameroon and i'm using um kanda that's cow skin i'm using smoked turkey um nigerians call it shaki i'm not using meat just because um i prefer kanda cow skin in my eru and yeah i just decided not to use meat because i prefer kanda in my eru than meat and i'm already using um smoked turkey so that's the reason why i'm only using kanda um dried fish and smoked turkey my um beef or my stock is already cooked let's go ahead and start the process put in your spinach or your water leaf whichever one that you have or whichever one that you're using and i prefer to use a um, the fresh spinach some people use the frozen spinach but i think when you um, use a fresh spinach it tastes better and it tastes like just like water leaf that's the main reason why i prefer uh, fresh spinach preferably the one in the bunch the bunch spinach like i showed you guys which is this one but you can mix it together with the leaf the leaf spread uh, the leaf fresh spinach if that's what you have available so you just want to mix everything up and before you know it the spinach is going to shrink if that's a word to use So I'm adding in more spinach. Okay, so after you do this for a while, you are going to notice that um, your water leaf, no, not your, it, okay. After you do this for a while, you're going to notice that your water leaf or your spinach is going to start producing water, as you can see. Yeah, you can see it's producing water. Now what some people do is they drain out the water which is the safe which is a safe way to do this 
just to make sure that your area does not have water just to make sure that your area does not have water in it so me what I normally do is I would drain the water just to make sure that my area does not have water in it and if I need it I can always pour in the water my what my spinach did not really produce so much water so I'm not going to bother to drain um, I'm not going to bother to reduce or take out some water okay so this has been cooking for about three minutes I'm going to go ahead and put in my arrow So you want to make sure that you put the arrow bit by bit just so that your arrow is not too much for the water leaf that you've already cooked, if that makes sense. So I've incorporated my arrow into my water leaf, as you can see, that's how it looks right now. At this point, I will go ahead and add my, create a hole in the middle, and then pour in my oil. Due to coal, my oil is a little bit thick. So I created a hole in the middle for my oil. I'm just going to leave that to cook for a while. And then um, I'm going to pour in my pepper. And the last thing is my crayfish. I love crayfish in my area. I think um, to me I believe that crayfish is one of the main ingredients for your area to taste really good so I always make sure I put a lot. Okay, I'm gonna make sure you mix everything up together. So you would notice that at this point I still haven't added any salt or maggi that's because I use um, salt and maggi in my um, in boiling my beef my kanda my crisp no my kanda my towel and my um, fish so I don't think I have enough oil so I'm gonna go ahead and add more So at this point that I've incorporated everything together, I'm going to go ahead and taste it to make sure that it is, it tastes, um, that everything tastes good enough for me. Mm. 
oh my god it tastes perfect I don't need to add any salt or maggi because the the njanga the crayfish actually added the taste because crayfish has a sweet taste that's why you want to make sure you put everything and mix it before you add um, maggi and salt or before you add your yeah before you add maggi and salt so this is the finished product some people like a lot of oil but the oil in this area is good enough for me so if you like this video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't So that is the finished product for this Aero recipe. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't joined the family. I have loads of video cooking videos coming up on the channel. And thank you for watching again. Have a wonderful rest of your day and God bless you. Bye-bye.